I am, it's more than I could have hoped for. Like, I am so grateful. And I'm pregnant, so I'm just gonna cry everything. What we are doing, we are on our way to go look at a, cow. a family Jersey cow. milk cow. Kelly being pregnant, she basically said, I want a cow. No, actually she didn't say I want a cow. She said, I want raw Jersey milk. So the easiest way for us to do that is just to get a cow. So babe, why is it that you want a cow? Pretty much because Meg Holler got a cow, sent me a text about it, and I was like, I need a cow now. So thanks, Meg. We're getting a cow. Thank you, Ben and Meg. You have inspired us to get a cow, so we're going to go get a cow. Hi, Finley. Wave to the camera. Okay, just got home, starting the oven. Need to make dinner. That was really, really fun. Like we got to see the cow. That is awesome. Making a loaf of sourdough for the kids for dinner. And yes, I ran out of our normal like kitchen tea towels. I had to use a shirt. <laughs> it was a clean shirt, but I had to use a shirt for the shaping. Up your lurked and he didn't. I love that. Uh, okay. Can I you see that? I a better way to sit. So anytime I sit back in your chairs, this is what it looks like. 
Well, you're pregnant, so <laughs> yeah, but it that works is out. not cute. Now, now they're, you can do it. There are cuter ways to sit. Look so, at that. Look at that. It's cute. It's very cute. Not cute. You're wonderful. So cute. We made. Ah, oh, sourdough. It's so good. You have to eat it every day. Yeah. It's called everyday bread. Not really, but that's what we call it. So we uh, went to the dairy. Our cow is coming from a dairy. It's in central Texas, outside of Navasota. And we met the nicest dairy farmer I've ever met. I mean, all the dairy guys are really cool. Yeah. But he was really kind and thoughtful as he shared with us which cow would be a good pick for us. So he kind of took us out to the pasture last week and we walked in, I don't know, the biggest Bermuda grass I've ever walked in. I was like, it the was at least said, like a 18 inches when tall. When we went back today, they were like, do we have to walk through the hard grass again? And like, it was, if you've ever played golf, of like the super, super thick, rough, and they're like, someone, you have to like muscle it's to get rough. it. It's pretty rough. That's what you have to do just to walk through it. Um, so the cows were happy. Yeah. But today, we'd gone to three different places to really decide which cow we wanted to get. And that was the the clarifying point was, is this the hard grass? Mm -hmm. Is that where we went through the hard grass? So it was cool. We had never been inside a dairy while they were milking. And she walked really great into the barn. She hooked up really well to milk. But what they let us do was... Um, we watched them clean off her udders, which was cool for us to see like in real life because we watch all these YouTube videos where someone does that. But this time we got to see them do it in real life. And then they let us milk her. And, mm -hmm. I mean, we could have probably milked straight into a jug if we wanted to. But it was really yes, cool to get hands on her and just see like, you know, we didn't milk tons, but just get a little bit of a rhythm going. And she, her bag felt really full. Her teats weren't hard to get at. I know that sort of the evolution of the cow now is that cows have shorter teats in the back, most of them, because they're coming from dairies and they're being machine milked. So I don't really know how to combat that. I just knew that we couldn't feel like we were looking for the perfect cow or we may never actually get her. So I just wanted to look for a good cow. And this cow is a good mom. She has calves on her. Like mm -hmm. she's not just hooked up to, we ha we've seen some dairies where they lead them in with a robot, they lead them out with a robot, they get hooked up with a robot, and they never have human handling. This oh, dairy good point. only milks eight cows at a time. I think they have 12 that they're milking right now. And they, um, so we were able to go in, we milked her by hand a little bit, then she came back out, and then we were able to see the calves. And one of the, I mean, I'm sure everybody does this different, but... I think one of the neat things that this dairy does is these cows that are in milk go and nurse all the calves that they have. So they have like four or five calves right now, all heifer calves. And he said, do you want to bring one of them home as well? So we'll be yeah. getting this cow who right now is called 61. And I'm really tempted to just keep her at 61. Um, but the kids are floating around some names because they always come up with really great names. Uh, <laughs> so 61's coming home next week and she'll be bringing a heifer calf with her. Yep. So in the next couple years, we could have another dairy cow or a cow for sale. Um, and mm -hmm. we're growing the homestead. We are. So we're we have. growing the freaking homestead. So we are. We built, I mean, we're, I, I cleared the spot where we're going to have a holding pen for them just for a temporary time. Kelly thinks that she's that she's going to put out like four to five gallons per milking. I don't know. I think we he said per day. So that, oh, I don't know. There are a lot of dairies that have cows. They will only keep cows that milk four gallons per se session. But. I mean, it makes sense. I think. He's a much smaller dairy. And it's not like, yeah. oh, he's so ethical. He's a much smaller dairy. I think he just runs a small operation and he does fine with it. And he sells a lot of heifers. So. Well, and he's well known in the area. Like, yeah, he's established. Uh, several people have just said that he's an awesome, awesome breeder. He's also an AI tech. So he kind of, I mean, he just knows a lot. He knows a lot. We're excited. I'm, Bo's overwhelmed. Well, because I haven't, I, I don't have the infrastructure ready yet. That's why. Well, I think we're at that. Oh, like, shoot. I got to go all the way up to Waco. Yeah, to get together. that electric stuff. So we're in the messy middle, right? Like, some I'm this way. I don't know if Bo is. He's not. 
But, like, if somebody asks me to clean my room, it's going to look real bad for, like, five hours. And then it'll look a lot better. And you'll know where everything is. We are at the place where we've cut down a ton of stuff so that we could create, you know, a very Texas-style place for our cow because it's not going to get the end of the world here. Not super cold in the winter. And give good shade in the summer. So we we had to trim up trees and we had to clear out brush to do that. And that took about a day and a half. And then when you look and you're like, ah, but I had to stop two projects to do that. So we're like, okay, yeah. but this is a priority now. And then having to still go get things like the hay bale ring and the and the feed and all the things to be ready for her to come home or them to come home. It's just the messy middle. We're getting uh, a cow, babe. We're getting a cow. It is going to be delivered November 8th and a week from today. Today mm -hmm. is November 1st. And in between then, we have swales. <laughs> we have earthworks happening. I think so. We have a gate to finish. Yep. We have... Infrastructure for the cow. The pen to put up. But I will tell you, this is a really cool thing. If any of you are discouraged by like the age of your children being young or the interest of your kids... We've been here, I'll cry at this, but we've been here almost three years and our kids are so eager to help build this cow pen. Like, so eager. The boys are really headstrong onto this and if you know me even for a second, it's not like, oh, my boys build and my girls don't. My girls are just not skilled to build at the moment. They're young. <laughs> they are, they're still little bitties. But when we moved here, Everett was only just turning eight. He wasn't even eight yet. And Finley was toddling and everything was like, could risk her life. And now, like we were in here the other day, you were working on the tractor, they were playing, not watching a movie, and I was working in here in the studio. And like time passes and things grow, but they pick up on these habits that I'm just like, I am, it's more than I could have hoped for. Like, I am so grateful. And I'm pregnant, so I'm just going to cry everything. But that's true. Is like, I don't think I could have, in the thickness of having a toddler and then getting a puppy, I don't think I could have envisioned that not only would things be easier, but they would be so good. They are so good. I love that. Getting a cow. Our family's like growing. I know. <laughs> Seriously growing.